In today's video we will learn how to model and texture this Dior perfume. Let's get started. Start by creating a new project in Blender and delete the default queue. Import your reference image into Blender. Scale it down and reduce the opacity. Now create a cylinder and scale it until it matches the size of the reference image. It's easier to switch into wireframe mode. Extrude the cylinder until it matches the reference image. When extruding, also think about the parts that are not visible and their proportions. Add a bevel to the edges and match them up. Check again to make sure everything looks good. Now we'll model the lid. Create another cylinder and scale it until it matches the reference. Select the top edge of the cylinder and extrude it. Add some lucots and slide it into position. Hold down the ALT key and click on the faces to select the row. Select your lip and add a bevel modifier. Increase the segments. Now your base mesh is almost ready. You can remove the reference image from the viewport. Switch to shading and add some materials. These are my material nodes for the world setup and my HDRI map. Switch back to the object materials. We need to add two materials for the bottom part and a material for the top. Create a glass and an aluminium material for the bottom part. Select the top faces and assign them to the aluminum material. Here, I use an add-in called Blender Kit. It's a build-in add-in that lets you quickly import materials and some models. It has a lot of free content. In my opinion, it is a must-have add-in. Adjust the material settings. Now, let's start creating the background. Add a layer and scale it to your liking. I always rename my objects and move them into collections to keep them organized. Select the layer and go into edit mode. Extrude an edge and add a chamfer. Adjust the camera position and camera settings to match the reference. Go to scene properties and select color management. Go to look and select very high contrast to add some contrast to the rendering. Add another panel and select image editor. Now you can open your reference image. As you can see in the reference image, the glass is slightly thicker. Select your bottle mesh and add a solidify modifier. Apply the solidify modifier. Select your outer mesh and hide it. Create a new vertex group and assign the inner glass part to it. Now you can easily select the inner glass faces using the select button. Select the upper verticals and delete them. Select the lower part of the inner glass and move it up a bit. Scale it on the z-axis to get a flatter surface. Now select the inner glass vertex group. Go into the material properties and duplicate the glass material and rename it to glass inner. Now you can assign the vertex group to the glass inner material.
This is where I add the logo. Select a few faces and UV unwrap. Switch to UV processing and adjust the UV map. Now you can control the material of the logo to make it shinier. Switch to render view and adjust the color of the glass material. Adjust the inner part of the glass until it matches the reference image. Now we will create the blue and black gradient glass. Start by adding a gradient texture and a color map, and a texture coordinate and mapping node. Change the coordinate from generated to object. To demonstrate, I create a layer and the glass material in a material to it. I adjust the color ramp and play with the positions. Now you can control the gradient using the mapping node. I adjust the rotation on the y-axis and the position of the gradient. Let's take a look at the rendered view. Now it's just a matter of refining the materials and adding small details like the noise texture on the lid. As you can see, there is a highlight on the reference. I adjust it by rotating the HDRI map on the Z-axis. I created a layer and added principal BSDF material to it. I changed the emission color to white and increased the emission strength. Finally, I adjusted the blue tone of the inner glass and the bottom part of the inner glass. As you may have noticed, there is a white noise caused by the length of the background. To fix this, you can turn off the gloss in the object properties on the ray visibility. Here is the final result. I hope you liked it. See you next time.